40 years. How many of us can be patient for 40 years? We cannot be patient for four minutes. Let's be honest. Four minutes. There's no patience. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May He grant us ease and goodness. Allahu Akbar. So, you know, I'm saying, uh, talking about impatience and how it is, uh, something comes to my mind. Subhanallah. Something comes to my mind. A man, his name was, his surname was Singh. Okay? His surname was Singh. It's a common surname. Singh. So, he was resting in a park. So, because when you rest on the bench in a park, what happens is you take up more than one space, you know. So, one person came to him and told him, are you relaxing? Now, he thought this man is asking me, is your name Relax and your surname Singh? You know, are you relaxing? He says, no, sir, I am Dilip Singh. <laughs> and here comes another man. He says, are you relaxing? Within a minute, another man, are you relaxing? He says, no, sir, I am Dilip Singh. And a, a third man, are you relaxing? He says, no, sir, I am Dilip Singh. So he decided, like I told you, no patience. He got up and he walked away. So he walked right to the other side of the park and he saw another man. He saw another man lying down. And he said, this might be the one. So he tells him, are you relaxing? He says, yes. He says, they're looking for you on the other side. <laughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. The impatience of man and lack of understanding. So we ask Allah to grant us a deeper understanding. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us. Every time I think of this, I actually laugh. Because it really shows how impatient man is and we don't understand. And really sometimes we are caught in this type of a web. There is nothing much but we get frustrated and we get caught because of our own misunderstanding. So the impatience that we have when something bad happens to us is such that it results in our downfall. Really, don't be impatient. Remember it's the plan of Allah. Like I said this afternoon at Jumu'ah, Remember one thing that is very important. Allah sent you in this world to test you. That's all. There's no other mission for you. You will come in the world. You are tested and you leave. Someone else will come. They are tested and they leave. When they leave, Allah knows. What will happen in your test, we can tell you now. 